There's something off about this channel, something creepy, something strange. You've never heard of it, but you will, and it will take over YouTube in precisely 132 days, more or less, gaining hundreds of millions of views daily and earning more than 3 billion views monthly while only releasing about 3 videos a week. What if I told you this channel has more subscribers than Dude Perfect and Mr. Beast combined, and yet you've never heard of it? This channel is Coco Melon Nursery Rhymes, and although it seems happy and innocent on the surface, beneath the skin, you'll find something horrifying, something dark, and it is about to ignite the fire of the next great YouTube war. Now, Coco Melon is just a nursery rhyme channel, and somehow, this nursery rhyme channel is gaining an average of 108 million views per day, with the bulging 89 million subscribers, which I guarantee will be 91 million by the end of the month, Coco Melon is growing at a mind-boggling rate. How though, and why? What dark secrets are creeping behind the sinister eyes of those animations, and how does this all tie in to the next big YouTube war? Do me a favor and stick around to find out, because this is going to be a YouTube roller coaster. And also, only about 2% of people who watch my channel are actually subscribed, so do me another small favor and just click that small red subscribe button. It takes barely any effort and you can make my day. Let's get straight into the video. In the creepy animated universe of Cocomelon, many have noticed something off about the way they execute videos. There's good animation and good music, but still, something off. Almost as if the videos were made by a machine. Almost as if the entire set of characters was formulated by an AI. Why is it that the babies don't act like babies, and the kids don't? act like kids. Why is everything in this fake plastic universe so inhuman? Now, call me crazy, but at least hear me out. Who is behind Cocomelon? Nobody really knows. Nobody knows where the millions of dollars of ad revenue are going, and nobody knows where these creepy videos are coming from. Strangely, there is seemingly no one employed under this huge company. No credits, no singers, no producers, nothing. The only name that has been identified is Jay Gion, the owner of Cocomelon. It is an internet mystery. In fact, if you go to their Wikipedia, you will see almost nothing. For an interjet giant that big, not much is known about it at all. Why are there no credits or mentions of loving mothers? Because there are none. It is run by a machine. Now, this AI theory also explains how Cocomelon is able to spit hours of content every week with seemingly no staff. What's more, Cocomelon's videos seem to be created using a formula. Whenever mommy introduces something to the baby, the baby says, I like this, ooh ooh ooh, and then the rest of the video is basically just the same as the other ones, just in a different context. So the videos just end up being rehashed versions of the last one, something only a machine would allow. So, with hours of repeated content, a strange inhuman universe, and seemingly no staff, the only explanation for the anomaly known as Cocomelon is that the whole thing is run by an AI. A machine that can analyze YouTube trends such as Baby Shark and Johnny Johnny, and apply them to videos to create an unending stream of low quality remakes. So is Cocomelon run by a machine, or is it just a normal company that has extremely overworked staff? Why is it that the universe is so uncanny? Why are things repeated, and why are there no credits? These are all questions we want answered. Now, we need to talk about the next great YouTube war. In the year 2018, PewDiePie and T-Series faced off in what was perhaps the biggest YouTuber battle in history. The entire community came together to save YouTube from being conquered by a company in a symbolic battle between individual and corporation. With each channel rocket blasting in subscribers, the two channels faced to the finish with an excruciatingly close amount of subscribers. Unfortunately, we failed. But that does not mean we have to fail again. In exactly 132 days on December 18th, Cocomelon will reach 106 million subscribers, officially surpassing PewDiePie. It is our job to make sure that does not happen. It is up to us, as the YouTube community, to keep PewDiePie on top. We must wage this war not only because he's a great guy, but also because of what he represents. PewDiePie symbolizes YouTube's past, a platform for the people. It is our duty to uphold his majesty as the second best creator on YouTube. It is our duty to keep the individual on top, for he represents the good in all of us. 
We cannot and must not let YouTube be subject to the reign of corporations. We, as the people of YouTube, will together defeat this foe and be held victorious. Now let's stop with the patriotic BS. It's true though, we can't let YouTube fall into the hands of giant corporations. We can't let this machine-run mysterious company be king. As creators and viewers, it is your duty to spread the word of the next great war. Whether it be by liking this video, sharing it, or maybe just telling your friends. Whatever it may be, just remember to subscribe to PewDiePie. And me too, that would be great. Subscribe.